Hi, I'm Jaden with Pack Leader USA. Thanks for purchasing our PL521 labeling machine. Today we're going to look at the feeder, the conveyor and guide rails. We're also going to look at the label head, the wrap station, and the control box. So once you get your machine rolled into place, we want to make sure that it's, uh, we lock down all the leveling pads. So these are down here. We'll go ahead and screw these down. Uh, you may need to use a wrench to do this. And then we also we just want to make sure that the lock nut's tightened as well so it doesn't rattle out of place. One feature that the PL521 has is uh, it's got leg extensions inside here. Right now the conveyor height is at 32 inches. If we loosen these four Allen head screws on these collars here, um, that'll allow us to raise the whole unit up and take it up another 10 inches to 44 inches. We're going to go ahead and set up our feeder. Um, and to do that, we're going to make sure that the door on here is adjusted to the height of this container. The reason for that is so that way the, the bottles will fall through um, straight and not tilt over or fall to the side. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be doing a little glass bottle. So I'll go ahead and place it inside of here and we're gonna go ahead and pull down the door so that way it's um, adjusted correctly for this bottle and then they'll fall through correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and load up our feeder. Um, to do that, we'll go ahead and open the door. And on this feeder, we've got the star wheel. We would just stack all of our containers in, inside of here. One thing I'll point out is we've got a low product sensor right here. Um, so once the bottles pass that, uh, when it gets uh, low on the feeder, it'll turn off the star wheel and that way um, it won't keep feeding when there's not any top pressure on top of the containers. Now we can go ahead and load up our feeder. To set up the guide rails, uh, what we have here is we've got some up and down and in and out adjustments on these. So what we can do is if I loosen this thumb screw here, I can adjust the rails up and down. And so we'll go ahead and set this one just above the rollers. We wanna make sure that it's not pressing down onto the rollers, it's just above them. And then got our bottle in here, so we'll go ahead and make sure that our in and out adjustment is set up correctly. And then this will let the bottle um, run through into the applicator properly. On this guide rail on the back here, we're gonna go ahead and set up the height adjustment. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower this just above the rollers. And then I'm gonna kind of have it maybe at an angle a little bit um, for this container. And this will make sure that as it's going by, it'll press it down into the, into the collection table. So now we're at the applicator. Um, we're gonna go ahead and look at um, installing the labels on there. We've got a wind diagram that kind of shows how those are gonna go through, but I'll go ahead and put them on here and talk about how to put these on. So we're gonna take off this uh, supply reel right here. Um, go ahead and put our labels on. So the first part of here is we're gonna go around the brake arm. Um, this will allow it to release some slack as the uh, label head's pulling the labels through. Uh, we'll come around this roller here, uh, just a guide roller. Um, then we're gonna go through this felt pad and this is gonna maintain tension throughout the rest of the label head. So we wanna make sure that that's tight. Um, to do that, if you um, turn back this spring loaded rod right here um, and then you loosen the thumb screw on the felt pad. So we'll go ahead and pull them through there come around this guide roller right here, and then we'll go in between the label sensor, and then through this guide roller down through the peel plate, and then we'll come around to the uh, PU roller, which is this black rubber roller here, and this is what's actually gonna pull our labels through. So we wanna make sure we're going through here, and then uh, we're gonna take the labels in between this rod and the knurled roller, which is this textured roller here. 
So we'll go in between both of those and then around this plate. And then once we get through there, we'll make sure it's pressed down to the bottom and we'll go ahead and close the knurled roller. Um, and that's gonna pinch the labels in between here so that way it's got some pressure while it's pulling it through. And the last part is the take up reel. So we'll take our labels around here, take the J hook out, uh, put it back on with the labels through it. And then this will pull up all the waste. The last part we've got is the keepers. We're just gonna press all those down, keep the label from riding up. To set up our wrap station, which is located right next to the label head, um, we're gonna go ahead and take our bottle and we'll put it underneath it right here on the conveyor. And we're gonna use the up and down adjustment to lower the wrap station on top of the bottle. Um, what we're gonna wanna do is put a little bit of pressure. We're gonna touch the wrap station to the uh, side of the bottle. And this is like a foam belt on here. It's gonna actually uh, wrap the label or um, press it around the container. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. We'll lower it on top of it. And then we can also control the um, in and out adjustment back here. So we wanna make sure that the wrap station is uh, pressing on the label entirely. So I'm gonna pull it back a little bit and that way it'll press down the entire label. If you need to get inside of your control box, uh, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that now. We just wanna make sure to unplug our power. Um, and then there's a couple screws under here that we're gonna to need to take out. So we'll go ahead and remove those real quick. And then this will allow us to hinge open the box. And then we can open up the door to get inside of here. And inside here, we have the transformer. We have the VFD for the conveyor and the wrap station. We have the DC power supply for all of our low voltage. We have the stepper driver for the label head. And then we have the PLC. We have our fuses for all the components over here. And then we have our PC board. Before powering up your machine, uh, we wanna make sure that our power cord is plugged into a dedicated line. Um, this will help ensure the lifespan of the electrical components inside. We can also have this machine ran off of an optional 110 volts as well as 220 volts. We're gonna go ahead and power up our machine. Uh, to do that, we're gonna release the e-stop, make sure there's some green showing here, and then we're gonna go ahead and turn on the power switch. So here we're at the home screen. I'm gonna press enter, and we've got these five submenus. We're gonna start with labeling mode. So we'll go in here. We've got the link setting. Um, so this will help us jog the labels or set the link set. We have the label peel delay, which will allow us to adjust the timing from when the labels are dispensed. We have the pre-count. Um, this will let us put in a value, predetermined value. Like if we put in 100, it'll run 100 bottles and then turn off the machine. We have the counter clear that keeps track of how many bottles have been ran through. And then we've got the conveyor on, labeling on, and feeder on. Next, we've got setting mode. So we'll go through here. We've got one um, through eight different speeds for the conveyor. Uh, we've also can turn on the missing label function. And if this detects a missing label, it'll turn off the machine. And we also have the hot stamp printer function. We can turn that on or off. Then we have memory mode. When we go in here, we can enter in a memory that we would like to save the machine at. So we enter one and then we can store or recall uh, the memory. Guide mode is a basic startup. So it's gonna go through each uh, setting one by one. So it'll say to turn on the conveyor. We have the label sensor calibration, the link setting, and it will ask um, for the missing label to set that up. It's got the hot stamp printer, the conveyor speed. And then next we've got troubleshooting mode and this has just basic troubleshooting tips you can use to fix any problems you have with your machine. To set up your label sensor, what we're gonna do is peel off the label. So I'm gonna go and do that real quick. 
Then we're gonna use the link set to jog the labels through. And we want the sensor reading only the backing paper. So we don't want any label in there. And then once we're there, we're gonna hold down the normal button for three seconds. And you'll see the green LED blink and then it'll stop blinking. And then we're gonna hold down the link set until we have a label flagged off of the peel plate, uh, two to three millimeters. To set up the product sensor, what we're gonna do is use this thumb screw here, and this will allow us to adjust where the sensor is actually reading the container. Uh, for most applications, you're gonna to wanna to have it just in line with the peel plate. To learn more about the PL521, please visit our resources section at packleaderusa.com.